All right, guys, welcome to a special episode of Dance Games Daily. If you watched yesterday's video, uh, it was announced that Prickly Pear's Ultimatum is the real boss pack at BCFA 2021. It is a 32-minute mix of what I would basically call the ITG Alex and Chief Skittles greatest hits. Sorry. Right. Sorry. Yeah, uh, and I, we actually, today we have the two-step artists involved with me. I have ITG Alex and Chief Skittles. How are you guys doing? I'm you know, good. just uh, having a great time not playing Bloodborne. Alex, how's pad modding going? <clears throat> uh, it's not pad modding. I'm trying to get the screw out so I can install the stack board. Yeah, that's classic. So I, I guess I guess that kind of is pad modding. How many how many strip screws were there? Uh, one. Okay. Sounds like... oh, no, actually, no, there were three, but only one of them is proving to be a real annoyance to get out. Sounds like the odds are stacked against you. Ooh. Well, today we're gonna take a okay, look I'm at. Now. <laughs> today we're gonna take a look at Prickly Pear's ultimatum. Uh, maybe just talk about the charts involved and uh, how. Well, just general ECFA opinions. Sound good? Yeah, sure. I love candid conversation with my friends. Who made the ear? What is this eerie like background music for the preview? That's. It's just... It's just the beginning of Ragnarok. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. yeah. The thing about it is that um, for my cut of Ragnarok, when I like actually released the chart or originally, I cut out like thirty-five seconds of the intro. But Alex pointed out that uh, it's a really good intro. So, well, yeah, good it's for like a thirty-minute mix. I, I saw like so, cranked pastry mega mix that fucking chart. <laughs> Uh, uses just the beginning of Nocturnal Nectar as the <laughs> preview music, and it's just this like eerie atmosphere thing. So it's like, yeah, I'll just do that. Or this is definitely just the cranked pastry mega mix of tech, right? Oh, that, sure. that's that's. Gonna... How did you decide on what songs to put into this mix? This this was mixed by Alex, right? Yep. Yeah, I uh, well, I wanted to do an equal amount of me and Trevor's charts, and I wanted to have it, like, gradually speed up over time. So I just tried to find the best fits for that. I guess I got kind of lucky just having Ragnarok as the first one, and it having a good intro. I don't know. And then how long did it take to, to put this mix together? Uh, it was, like, on and off for, like, four months or something. I, 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 I like, did, like, a chunk of it, and then I just put it aside, because I was, like, this is dumb, I don't want to finish this. And then I was like, well, yeah, it's dumb, but dumb things are fun, and I'll finish it anyway. That's why you write all those doubles charts, right? Yeah. So actually, I want to talk a bit about kind of how Prickly Pear started. I think Trevor's told me the origin story of the name, at least, before. <laughs> you mean, like, the pack, or...? The pack. Oh. I, I literally um, just messaged Trevor one day, and I was like, "You want to make a pack together?" It's like, yeah, absolutely. That would that sounds like a great idea. I can actually probably just go back in the DMs. Yeah. But was the idea of making mixes something that was you guys knew that you wanted to do from the start of this? Mm, I don't think so. It, it it wasn't the start, but it was close ish to the start. It it, it definitely wasn't like the first thought I had. I was just like, I want to have this stand out in some way, so I'll add these tech mixes, I guess. Yeah, because I like long-form tech content. I feel like it fulfills the stamina part of my soul with the tech part of my soul. And I know that there yeah, are tech mixes I'm, is a I'm part so of... Sure I don't have one of those. <laughs> are you? Yeah. It used to be worse. <laughs> I got over it. Yeah, I mean, there were tech mixes involved as part of Midwest Coast <laughs> Stamina <laughs> FA. Was that Pandora yeah. Drum into 9mm? Yeah. That transition's so funny. <laughs> it's not bad, it's just really funny. <laughs> uh, my favorite transition is Arcology into Dual Emotion. It's because it's so, like... Like... You need a break! It's really funny. <laughs> that, that, that's the reason I put it in there. I was like, fucking Arcology's hard. You gotta give a break. My favorite transition is the first Skittle part of Arcology to the second Skittle part of Arcology. The double long Skittle. We're gonna get to it. 
Yeah, we might be through like one topic of conversation by the time we get to it at this rate. We're really bad at staying on topic. But I mean, I really do like the mixes. I feel like it's something that's, I don't know if needed in tech, but really refreshing to introduce. Yeah. yeah. I I can't remember. So we definitely started this pack in like, or we like pitched the idea in like March or April last year. Yeah, so I'm like, it was it was a while back. I'm trying to think of when the when were like uh, Kaiga's tech mixes like that. Those, those were those were before that, right? Did you just say Kaiga? Uh, I don't. Find, how do you pronounce them? I think Kaya. she just calls it Kaya. Ah, okay. Um, but yes, those were um, those were before that. Yeah, but I figured. I think I, I think we kind of already had like the general idea in place. <laughs> by the time Midwest Coast Stamina FA4 happened. Yeah. Because I remember, right. like, being at that and thinking, man, it's going to be really sick next year when, like, people have to play whatever mix you had last showed me at that moment. The first one I made was the Hamarju mix. And then right, I didn't, right. I, I, didn't just... make, I didn't make another one for, like, five months or something. I was just like... Like, it was just like a test concept, and I was like, I don't know if I want to do this, and then I... I don't know. And then you did it. <laughs> yeah. I kind of... I, I grinded out a lot of them, like, right at the end. What were yeah, the five yeah, mixes? Yeah. There's the Nyato one, Psyche... Did you just say Nyato? How do you Nyato. say it? Is it just Nato? Nato. Not Nato, yeah. <laughs> Nato. <laughs> Look, yeah. Alex said Kaiga. We're just going to wait for Tev to say something wrong now. No, my enunciation is... Unfathomably flawless. Hamarju, Nato, yeah, yeah, Psyche, Camellia, Camellia, yeah, and then and... Masayoshi Mori. Oh yeah, that one. Do you have a favorite I, I, out of any of those? I definitely like the Nato, Nato and the Psyche one. Nato. I think chart-wise, the Masayoshi one's my favorite. Uh, uh I was just going like by mix by music. Mix wise, I'm probably I'm probably also happiest with that one. But like, it's not the songs I like the most, but I, I think it's the mix that I'm most proud. It of. flows really well. Mm. I love when Prickly Pear. Like, it, it, it just sounds really natural. I love when Prickly Pear released because you uploaded the pack in five different locations, each of which had a different mix in it. And yeah, that was this was <laughs> all Alex's idea. It's all was, Alex's idea. Th that was something that we thought of like. A while ago, like I was just like, I I just throw out these fucking crazy like what if scenarios, and I'm like, I'm probably not actually gonna do this, but this would be a fucking hilarious thing. And then I just kind of, I don't know, I don't usually commit to those kind of things, so I'm, I surprised myself, I guess. But I think different people downloaded it, and it was like, Omid was streaming the new pack release, yeah, uh, and was, they were like, they're like, hey, you should play the mix. It's like, oh, what's the mix called? And then it's that like, is exactly what I was hoping for. I it, like yeah. as soon as as soon as Red Zone said in the like I remember Red Zone said in the chat, wait, yeah. this isn't the mix I had. I yeah, was like, no. yes, get he, a fucking uh, bomb drop, let's go. Yeah, he he <laughs> tagged he tagged me on Discord and he was like, Trevor, why is why is Omid's mix different than mine? And I mean, you know, I was just like, I don't know, I have no idea what you're talking about. Nobody noticed that the pack names were different either <laughs> until that. I mean, <laughs> all they saw was Prickly Pear. Maybe they did, I don't remember. I don't know. Well, did you advertise it as Prickly Pear's poppin' pack, but then the downloads yeah. were different? Yeah. No, no, they, they were all advertised as different ones. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, yeah, like on the release post. Yeah. But like, yeah, that was like the main pack name. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was when I just started going. I have no idea what you're talking about because at that point, like, people started messaging me, and I'm just like, I think that's probably like my favorite thing I've ever done. <laughs> just that oh, whole it was, thing. Like, I, 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 I've never, I've never like committed to something that hard. I got. I ended up getting <laughs> prickly pears, poultry, or whatever I can't pronounce. Poultrytudinous. 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 Yeah. My, my favorite p word. <laughs> What are your other favorite? Let me tell you what. <laughs> Pulchritudinous. <laughs> and pancake. Trevor messaged me in all caps, prickly pears pulchritudinous pack on <laughs> April 7th, 2020. <laughs> okay, so well if 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 we were trying to decide the names in April. 
that probably means that was a pretty good bit after, like, the idea of, like, multiple releases and all that happened. I think that was, like, the, the, the exact time, and I was like, what if I, what if we called them, like, different things? Yeah, and just, that sounds about right. <laughs> you were looking up P-words in the dictionary. Yeah, that's, you know, I, I, I definitely work really hard at the soap factory doing very important things involving Wait, looking this, up dictionary words. This sequence of songs is wild. We just went from Good Life to Swamp Gator into Bubble in the Air. Yeah. yeah. So They're all amazing charts. <laughs> it, there was also Flash Dance into Good Life, which was just like... That's they're, like the, they're just both litmus songs, so they kind yeah. of just work together. Like yeah, you can't, you can't even. I mean, really it hear sounds it. good. Uh, yeah, you can't even really hear the transition. It's like the same sound effects in each song. Wait, how did you deal with like slight BPM differences between songs? Did you just normalize it to a, some other BPM or? Yeah, like uh, I, I think here it probably changes to one thirty three if you look at the BPM yeah. counter. Or not, not here. When it transitions at the end of this song, song. Yeah. then like Swamp Gator was running at 132, which I think it's normally like 129. I think it's 126. It's 128. Yeah, 128. So something like uh, yeah. that. Like every other tech. One, 120 X. Yeah. Yeah. My fi my favorite number. Upper 120 X. <laughs> oh. I think this is my favorite transition. The one into Pulse Wave. After this. It's yeah, it sounds really natural, and I'm proud of that. The Arcology into Dual Emotion one does not sound natural. <laughs> I'm not, no. It's fine! Oh, it's smooth, it's just... <laughs> the energy difference is very clear. Yeah, see, so you now it's 130. Oh, that's great. Also, we just removed all the slowdowns. This, this was a slowdown. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think what yeah, only... Thank God, thank God for just, like, opening up three different copies of Aero Vortex and just copy-pasting stuff yeah, back and thank, forth. Yeah, thank you for doing that. I did not want to do that. <laughs> Oh, Trevor, it was, it was Trevor, way easier Trevor, than I thought it was going to be. Trevor was the one who, like, arranged all the charts together in, like, the one file, and I'm like, thank God, because I really did not want to do that. I don't know how many should've people should've have, have the played this. Then. Omid, Omid and Zinn are the only two people I know that have played this, and Bromid and modded it. I, 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 I wish I included something to... I say I, I wish I included like speed scroll changes to offset the BPM changes because I I do not want people playing this on an M mod. <laughs> I um I've played it. I just didn't pass it. It's hard. Like if you're yeah. doing everything. Yeah, I got to the uh, I got to the beginning of Sound Alchemist and I just like did not have the gas left in the tank to get okay, through that. Sound Alchemist to the run. end is hard. Sound Alchemist there's is like, like actually there's like, four, there's like four fucking impossible charts in a row at the end. Yeah, Sound Alchemist is like actually the final boss of the entire chart. <laughs> <laughs> fucking impossible. At least like upshift, like you know it's coming. You're like, all right, it, of course it's gonna be upshift. You know what? What else is? What else can you do with it? But no one, nobody expects Sound Alchemist. It just comes right in and it just it just ruins your day. <laughs> no one At expects the, the Spanish sound alchemist. <laughs> At least the song's a banger. What are, what are your expectations for people playing this? <laughs> Don't. <laughs> okay, actually, I guess oh. when did when did you get, when did you guys hear that? Whose idea was it to put this in? Was this all Logan's idea? It's all out. Oh, oh, to put it in ECFA. ECFA. I, I literally, I literally didn't know it was an ECFA until ten minutes ago. Yeah. yeah spoiler, by the way. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was. It was all. I, I kind of assumed it because Kyle messaged me at one point. He's like, "Hey, what are the songs in order in Ultimatum?" I was like, <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. he messaged me about it, and I was just like, <laughs> "I was like, dude, I'm like, not where I can look it up. I think I was like, I was when I was in Dallas." <laughs> <laughs> What song is this right now? This is Eopidus. Eopidus, which is Iopidus, in the pair. It's probably the chart that people know the least out of these. This is actually one of my favorite charts in the pack, so I don't know I, what you're talking about. Yeah, I, I'm like okay with it, but I, I just put it in because Trevor liked it. Yeah, I mean, it's a 12 that I can actually fucking do. I love it. It's not it's not as hard as circulator <laughs> the other twelve. That's not a twelve. <laughs> it oh, wasn't first. Yeah, okay, that's 
So is Ignis. Okay, so for the, for the record, for the record, I know I'm really bad at rating stuff. Like, that was a good transition. Like, I know I'm bad at rating stuff, and, like, I feel bad about it sometimes. But the problem is that when I don't know what something is rated, and I think, I'll just pla I'll pad test this later and change it if I need to, or, you know, decide then, as a placeholder, I always just put in 12. Because <laughs> 12 okay, is that like... Ma that makes sense, yeah. 12 is like the widest difficulty spread in tech. Te 12s in yeah. tech are like 15s and 17s in stamina. God, yeah. There's, like, the spread is like as wide as my house. So Which... it's like, even if I'm wrong, I'm probably closer to right. It's as wide as my dog. <laughs> I, as so... wide as my stance. <laughs> So this was probably the I, I I was like struggling to like come up with songs to put in for this like BPM range because it, it like gradually transitions from 128 to 145 and then it like jumps up to 150 after that. But um, I, I remember like I I couldn't find like the the 130 ish like the high 130. I'm gonna sneeze. Hold on. Have fun. <laughs> okay. Bless you. Yeah. But Random Box wasn't in the original like set list of songs I was gonna put in, but I just put it in because it was like I literally I want to make this an equal amount of me and Trevor's charts, and I can't find anything else that I've written that I think is okay at this speed. Wait a second, Random Box is a little bit different. You marked foot switches here. I marked all the foot switches in this. Yeah, all all the uh, they're all, all along too. with along with removing the slowdowns. Like we we decided to mark all the switches just because it's like. You know, it's 32 minutes of tech. We're not gonna make. We're yeah. not gonna make the difficulty about memorizing which charts have marked foot switches. And I which okay. Don't. I didn't realize this until Zin played it, but I forgot to mark the ones in uh, Innocent Walls. <laughs> that one just has no marks marked foot switches. I don't know how I just forgot an entire song's worth of. I don't know. Um. Honestly, marking the switches in Innocent Walls wouldn't have made it any easier. Yeah, it's kind of I mean, hard. Yeah, it's such a good chart though. Do we play uh, yeah, the Do we play the box or does it transition out? It, it transitions out. Again. I think it transitions out. Play the box. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Let's Random transition. That. I like that transition because you can just slowly hear it fading in. Yeah, you can hear the that's where that's where every coming in. That's where everybody goes, oh fuck. A danger oh, is approaching. Are, are we doing this already? <laughs> yeah, Actually, I feel sorry for people who are sight reading Critical Crystal in this mix. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. I... Wait, double Why? long skittle. That's so <laughs> sick. Uh yeah, so I, I put that in there because I well I, I I didn't want the song to last forever, but I also wanted to like include almost the whole song, so I just cut it down to, like, a minute. I- I watched this chart- after Red Zone and I, like, finished your puzzle, we watched this That's entire like chart three at in the morning. 2 yeah, like, 2.30 a.m., and, like, I s screamed as quietly as I could at 2.30 a.m. when the double skittle came up. <laughs> oh, yeah, so do you want to talk about the puzzle, Alex? Because, like, you were the creative genius behind that. Dude, I- it, that, it's all a fucking blur in my head. I- I- I don't- well, I'm trying to think of what inspired it. Cause, well, like, I- I've wanted to, like- It was cool frog games or whatever No, this called. transition- this transition, though. It's a good transition! Good transition! Pop pop. Uh, yeah, Frog Fractions was something I was following That's what for, it was. like- Yeah, that was something I was following for, like- the two years it was going on. It was just this, like, huge ARG of this game that nobody knew, like, like, Frog Fractions 1 came out, and then Frog Fractions 2 was this Kickstarter, and then it, like, led to this huge, like, ARG that lasted for, like, two years, and nobody knew when the actual game was gonna come out. Yeah. And then it got released eventually inside of a different game. Uh... So yeah, that, that whole thing was like super cool to me. Yeah. I think I was Vincent, like, are, are you from? The, are you aware of Frog Fractions? Like the general story behind it. Alex told me about it after. But okay. just to be clear for people who don't know about this, when yeah, Prickly Pear was, I can summarize it real quick. I was gonna say like for when Prickly Pear was first released, the ultimatum was not oh. in the pack. So there was a puzzle that involved downloading all five versions of the pack in different sources. 
putting some clues together and then eventually getting to a Discord link. But yeah, there were like, it was like a, like a cryptographer ARG kind of thing. Cryptographer. There were like five different steps to it. Like there were like text ciphers and QR codes and fill in the blanks with like song packs and like it was it yeah. was a lot. Yeah, the, the the fill in the blanks thing was the first thing. I, I I think if I didn't think of that, I probably wouldn't have done it because I was like, like what if I make a fucking ASCII cipher out of the step counts of novice charts from random packs? I just like randomly thought of that, and I was like, "That's so stupid! I have to like do this entire thing now." Like, I, <laughs> I like that you didn't have enough songs to get the step counts that you needed to fill in the blanks, so you had to resort to like stupid ho and and cranks. Oh, or I, no, I, 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 I did. I, I did that just because it was funny. Like, oh. I, like I, I, I put in a Tachyon Alpha chart because I was like, that it, it would be funny. Yeah. Stupid ho is really dumb. <laughs> I feel like what's what's funny to me is that like the whole time Alex is coming up with all these crazy puzzles, like every five minutes I'm like, Alex, there's no way in hell I would be able to figure this out. This is gonna be way too hard for people. I like, was there's, I there's was no worried, way anyone's yeah. gonna there's no way anyone's gonna get it. And then obviously Vincent, people and got it Will. pretty quickly. So really, the only thing I learned from that isn't that uh, it, it isn't that puzzles are hard. It's that I'm not good at puzzles. Ooh, I like this transition. That's why, it, I, don't, it, it, that's why I don't like DDR. <laughs> there's um, I feel like there's certain things that are like kind of a meta with that sort of thing. Like if you've followed ARGs and you've like seen different like video game ARGs over time, it's a little less like how would you think of that. Uh, it's not like everything was like the same, but like I copied the, I copied the make a QR code out of binary from, I don't even remember what it was. There's from. like There's... things to look for. You know what to do with certain things versus others. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've never followed an ARG in my life. I had also, no idea like, what was going on. This, this puzzle was put together by a sophomore computer science student. Like how hard could it possibly be? Wow. You really just gonna, you really just gonna do that to him? You we really said just gonna say that? We said that to Alex's face. It's fine. I learned Damn. this stuff in like 11th grade, so <laughs> I, I probably could have made it a little harder. That, that's that's crazy. I learned this stuff a few months ago. <laughs> Figure that out. Tell Perion and I joked that the all of the songs in the fill in the blank should have been the songs used in the mix for Ultimatum. That, well, that would they be don't, pretty they don't have cool novice, that, would, that would require us having to make full difficulties. <laughs> Where are we right now? Fresh it up? What comes after this? Yeah, man, we're freshening it up. About to Ultra go... Turbo comes after this. This is like the rudest part because it's sped up. About like to go five chug BPM, a bottle of Listerine. And it's, like, in, impossible. In honor of fresh it up. Just gonna drink the thing. What was the process behind rating it a 16? Is it a 16? No. I don't know. Is it a 15? Like, well, well, it's a 1. The process a behind rating it a 16 was. There's literally no precedent for this whatsoever. Everyone's gonna think it's a different difficulty. Nobody's gonna agree, and we don't have anything to compare it to. We can I was either just like, it's, it's try our than best. The other mixes. Yeah, we were like, we can either try our best, or we can just say fuck it, and we tried our best. You should have rated it as a sum of the charts involved in it. God, that'd, that'd be so high. It'd be like four digits. I mean, no, it'd be like four hundred. I mean, ratings seem to become more of a controversial topic with each passing day. Oh, crossword bracket. Yeah. But the reality well, that's is that. Way of saying jump. But the reality is that the rating system has just been broken for like a decade. Oh, it's been oh, broken. Oh, hold on. For I, 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 gotta, I gotta point out this transition. Uh, Lollipop Driver is another song I didn't know if I, like, I kind of just put it in because oh! I ran out of songs. It's what two the different. It's two different slap bass solos, like, <laughs> fitted over each other, it's so dumb. I was, w I was wondering why that sounded so good. <laughs> and they're both the same. Like, the transition way. didn't even, like, sound like it existed, and then I was like, oh shit, suddenly it's- what chart is this? I don't know- oh god, it's hard! This is so I hard! Don't I, I don't think I had played Lollipop Driver before playing it. I don't think anybody has. <laughs> yeah, because it's hard. It has that 24th crossover. Yeah, it's like, so uh, this was my first experience with uh, Lollipop Driver was 25 minutes into Ultimatum. Or 20 minutes Is this a different artist whatever. than Heartbreak Furry Fandom? Yeah. Okay. 
It's so- that transfer is so bursty. Yeah, that- that's rude, Alex. Why'd you do that? I- <laughs> That little it, thing. It, 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 it was a little rude. Before, it was a little before rude. The break. I don't think it's even the hardest part of the mix! Uh, yeah, it's like- you, It's you one of the hardest parts. You get through it, this and you're like, what could possibly be worse? And Black Lolita is waiting in the shadows like... Well, you, you're thinking Wait, about all you get, the parts you, you have not played- measure break right here. Oh, oh, thank God! God. <laughs> <laughs> I think you really just think about all the charts we haven't played yet, because like Arcology is the only like really, really this, iconic one. This, this is, part this is, is actually this, sick. This is the break. This is like the point I was like, I gotta put in a break, and then this is like the this is like the encore part. Like it the... already has better breaks than SRPX. <laughs> what are you talking about? That has like a sixty measure long no note break. Or what? No, no. So what was the one that uh, Arvin complained about? Was that? Arco 5? That was Arc. Arc, never mind. I don't know. So this okay. is Innocent Walls. This is the one I forgot to mark the foot switches in. It's okay. This chart's fucking hard. Are the foot switches at least obvious? Incredible. Yeah. Like... Oh, the, you're the, fine. Well, those, those, those ones are marked, but the, the, the 16th ones aren't. Yeah, there's, there's some later that aren't marked, oh. but like... They're kind of like thematically similar to these, so it's kind of okay. Also, so, those aren't marked, but like... Well, those, those, those are like obvious, like the obvious yeah. side switches. <laughs> you got, it, you just took the, like the obvious. only side switches in the chart. You took the balance approach for a song. That's it, all. This, I actually, this when, I, when, really I wrote, cool. when I wrote Innocent Walls, I actually kept the marking to a minimum just because like... If there were mines in there, it would have been, been really, really cluttered. cluttered and dense. So like, I kind of just had to say... You know, it's up to you to just pay attention and figure it out. Otherwise, yeah. no one's going to be able to read this. I honestly can't believe you made this good of a chart to Innocent Walls in 2020. Yeah, I those ones are the ones that I forgot to mark. Can't believe I made this good of a chart to a song that has only one note. It has two notes. It goes. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, yeah. See that? That's another note. Those brackets are so hard. It yeah, is they so are. hard to switch. The and this is five BPM slower than the original chart. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's you marked not... you marked all the important foot switches. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so there are six songs at the end here, and it, it goes from 150 to 155, like one BPM at a time. So this is debug dance, which is actually natively 151. It well, it's also right here. I like in never imagined I'd be in a universe where debug dance is the break, but this like, is this is the only easy chart in the ending. De part. Yeah, <laughs> debug dance is the easiest chart in the ending, and it's it's still pretty respectable. Yeah, what comes after this? It's, uh, sound alchemist. No way! I th yeah, I, th I think sound alchemist. Yeah. Isn't there one between sound alchemist and upshift? There's two. Okay. Exchangement. Yeah, it's strange. Oh yeah, match. Strangement is in here. I keep forgetting that Estrangement exists because I don't think it's as hard as everyone thinks it is. Is Estrangement a 13? Yeah. yeah. I think so too. It's official. You heard it here first from three people. <laughs> like, uh, these are also side switches. I guess these are the only two songs with side switches in the chart. That's okay. Side switches are hard, so... Also, I'm realizing now that this chart's, like, Debug Dance is pretty old. I'm yeah, realizing now that there was like, there was like, four crossovers in a row in the same foot. Oh, that well, here's here's sound up. Transitions with threatening, transitions with threatening auras. Yeah, right yeah. There. ain't that the truth? And that's where I failed. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It was it like a, the highest, that's the highest density spike in the chart. <laughs> yeah. Was it a uh, was it a life bar fail or a fuck this fail? It was a life bar fail. Like, okay. I, I just straight up, like, ran out of gas, and my legs just couldn't move that fast enough to do it anymore. You gotta, like, you, you remember, we've had this conversation. I actually have garbage-ass foot speed. I'm a very, very slow boy. So, well, no, like, really... I see that, and I'm just like... Mm. It's really hard playing foot speed when everything that you played before it isn't as fast. It's not like why people hate that really hard chart for Sounds of Life. That's, like, 16th stream for most of it, and then 24th stream for the end of it. It's really hard to play foot speed when you didn't start playing until 2017 and you're a modern day FA baby who hates anything that goes fast, like me. I mean, that's why like, I have a hard time with playing Russ, I'm gonna fly. I like this mix. transition's good too. I like this one. Ooh. Dude, this whole ending is just so hard. 
<laughs> it's yeah. so hard. Sound like, Optimus, when, Estrangement? When, when, Zen was, when, Zen, when Zen was playing it, I, he like had the best reaction. He was like, oh god, thank god I don't have to play that chart anymore. And then he got into this one, and he's like, this is not any better. <laughs> <laughs> he passed it with a decent score. He, he got like a yeah, 97. Like a 97. It was yeah. kind of insane. And then Omid has, what, like a high 98, I think? With M-Mod. I think he also got a 97, but yeah, he was on M-Mod. I think Omid Yeah, which is bonkers in its own way. I'm glad you removed the mines from that part. If I could, I if I could change... I don't remember if I did that. <laughs> I don't <laughs> remember there, there being mines there. There's a bunch of flare mines right there in the original. If I could change one thing about Estrangement, uh, it would be removing those flare mines. If I could change two things about Estrangement, uh, it would be removing those flare mines and fixing the double step that I left at the end of the hard chart. Oh no. That, that precisely one person knows exists. Wait, I've got- uh, I've I played that more, and I don't know it exists. I played it like yeah, twice! <laughs> I, uh, when I was removing a lot of the backward staircases from the, uh, from the hard chart, I left a, uh, oh, Phase X, right, this is a chart that exists. Um, Penny's X is probably a 13. Like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll admit that. I I was wrong when I thought that one said this was a 12. That was just straight up me being wrong. So yeah, that's, that's four 13s in a row. Is it just, phase, is it just yeah. phase X and an upshift? Yeah. Yeah, with like... Phase, phase X and upshift are the same artist, song artist, which they're not... Like, Iris is just a alias yeah, of Eston, alias. but like... Yeah, I feel like people don't know that, even though the songs sound the same. Well, it's also thematically appropriate right here. Yeah, well, I mean, that's why I, that's why I put them both at the end. But Did you same know ahead of time that you wanted good. to finish with Upshift? Yeah, I'd say so. If he if he hadn't have known ahead of time, I would have told him to do it anyway. Like, what are it's other good... Per it's perfect. What are other good contending finishing songs? A Strange Wind. A Strange uh, Wind. I guess like Giga Violate. I don't think not... that was out. That was not out. Yeah. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> I don't want to honestly. May maybe Phase X just because of this stream, but like the stream does kind of come out of nowhere. It's just, I had nothing. It's I had nothing seven. to do right here. No, I just mean like like in terms of their original chart. In terms of the mix, it's just a seven minute, a seven measure long stream, like right at the end. Uh oh, that's a break at this point. Yeah, really. One fifty stream. Oh my god, this is a transition with threatening Laura. Yeah, I feel, I feel like at this point, like you realize that you have probably bitten off more than you can chew. But also, this is the point of no return. Yeah, I mean, we've yeah. been at the point of no return for like a long time now. Yeah, it's like if you if you get to upshift, you literally are not allowed to fail. You have like, no choice. You cannot get to upshift and fail. Oh, Even if you just have to double hard. step through <laughs> all of it. I just double step everything and in upshift. I can't do it. I don't have the brain power to do those hold switches. I can't believe I would mirror this this entire chart just play upshift on mirror. Would that be bad? For the Probably. other 30 minutes of the chart. <laughs> oh. Probably. There you go. There's the ultimatum. That's it. I put the... Wait. I didn't want to just end it like like that. So, yeah. so you, get, you get a victory fanfare. And you can't hit these mines. They're fakes. Oh, nice. <laughs> you can see the oh, mine counter is maxed. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Did you expect I, uh, anybody to ever take this chart seriously? Was it just like... No. A I don't piece? expect anyone to take anything I make seriously. I was... Okay, actually, I was thinking of having... I was gonna ask uh, Taranuk if he could, like, last minute code some like a foreground animation of just like you win in rainbow text and like an animation of prickly pear, but I was just like, I, I just want to get this done. That was like the end of it i was like i had finished everything i needed to i think and by that point you're finished um out of your charts that you guys have in ecfa are you happy about some being chosen unhappy about others i'm glad capitalism canon wasn't chosen we can finally put that chart to rest forever 
I mean, Chief Skittles didn't exist until Capitalism Canon. Fuck. I wish you put in Cool Exception instead of Peak. As the 10,000 point song. <laughs> yeah, it's harder. I think, <laughs> I, think, I think Cool Exception would be like an actual 16 and not an ultimatum 16. <laughs> it's kind of hard. <laughs> I mean, 14. How is the. Do, do you guys keep up with like the reactions of how people feel about certain charts? Uh, no, I'm, I'm off of social media. I'm basically just existing. Know. I'm existing in the shadows, like just making horrible things to, you know, ruin been, tournaments forever. The only reason I haven't been playing recently, by the way, is just because the the air quality in the basement sucks. But that's why, like, I was in a different room when I was showing you downstairs. Yeah. That's why I got the stack, and hopefully everything should be set up as soon as I get this fucking screw out. Yeah, someone asked me in my stream, they were like, man, I really want to see Alex play more. I'm like, dude, his basement is, like, suffocating him. Yeah, his... I feel feel very bad that... I feel bad that I... Like, I'm getting this all fixed, like, right when ECFA is ending. But whatever, next year, or whatever. I don't know. I mean, there's, like... When when does it end? We got another month, right? I just want to do stamina RPG when that comes out, honestly. Oh, I, okay. I, can't, I can't I can't quit I, playing ECFA until I FA pass arcology. I feel like I'm gonna like it it'd take me a little bit too long to like get comfortable with FA again, I think. It's okay, I'll just see you guys at the real rip twelve, right? I don't know yeah. if there's gonna be a rip, man. I don't know if DDR Alina is like even around anymore. The pan- like they were already kind of struggling to put together Rip Twelve, I I think I don't want to speak for them, but like, and then the pandemic hit, and it was just like, well, is there anything else you guys want to talk about? I know like Prickly Pear released pretty close to ECFA, right? It's like yeah, yeah, I, I, I wanted to get I, I wanted out before to, ECFA. Yeah, I wanted to just like I I crammed the last minute for that. Yeah, because I mean, otherwise you're waiting until like you're waiting six months to release it. Yeah, you wait until after ECFA. Yeah, it was probably still a bad. T- like I probably should have gotten it finished like a month before ECFA, but it's fine. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that I want to talk about, but it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with dance games. I'm just kind of having a good time talking. Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> playing, uh, Bloodbor- playing Bloodborne. I mean, I can hear the blood. I can hear the music from Bloodborne playing. You left it running. <laughs> Yeah, I'm in the Hunter's yeah. Dream. I'm safe. I mean, Didn't that game come out like eight years ago, like four. I tried yeah. to play it like I tried to play it twice, and I wasn't. I I was. Long story short, it was not the game for me at the time. But now mm-hmm. I'm having a lot uh, yeah. Of fun I was, I was wondering like why why now you're playing it because it seemed like. It was, it was the game that everybody played like five years ago. Yeah, in five years ago, I tried it and I hated it, and then I tried it again and I still hated it. And now is this I'm all actually going? Is this all still going to be in the interview? I hope. Why not? I mean, <laughs> yeah. if we want to go back on topic, do you guys have advice for people playing the ultimatum? Other than sorry. don't. Um. Sorry. Yeah, that's a good like, one. Yeah, sorry is a good one. Honest advice. Every chance you get. Like within reason, take your arms off the bar, Probably, raise them above yeah. your head, yeah, or like long time wiggle, wiggle them around a little bit. Especially, what's gonna, say, yeah. What's going to happen if you don't is that you're going to hit, you're going to hit like the 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 gauntlet at the end, and your arms are going to give out before your legs do. Yeah, I honestly, I'm not sure if I could like easily pass this. <laughs> it's, it's it's hard. Again, especially I, 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 play, if you're like... I play I play stamina and FA very differently, so I feel mm-hmm. like I cannot combine the two skills. I just I just intentionally don't. If I see a stream, I just am like, all right, decents are good enough. <laughs> I think if you're someone who's used to playing long sets, like an hour and a half to two hours, you'll fare better. Assuming your breaks between songs aren't too crazy during your sets, sure. that's at least decent. I will say, I will say, there is something else. There is a, another tech chart that Trevor doesn't know about. Nobody knows about, except me. I know about it, and y'all are y'all aren't ready for it. It's, I can't believe Alex. Soon. I can't believe Alex is X Jam Ten and is a tech artist. I'm I'm not. Yeah, I know who X Jam Ten is. It's you. I'm... No, it's not me. I'm X Jam Nine. X Jam Nine. 
Oh, nine. Oh, nine. Oh, nine. Do you guys have oh, uh, people to thank or shout outs? Oh. God, you shout were. To, I was... uh, shout outs to Frums. I like gave them the whole ARG beforehand, and I was like, do you think this is all solvable? And they were like, yeah. So they, yeah. they QA'd it for me, they basically. Were, they, they were basically the QA test for the puzzle. Shout outs to Red Zone Nova and Telperion. Yeah, shout, yeah, shout, shout outs to Red Zone for getting to, it. Shout outs to you, Will, Telperion. and Telperion, Telperion, yeah. for... UKSRT. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, if there was shout one, if to, there's, if there's shout one thing for not for not realizing the the sticker order was different on Messenger, I'm, we we were both going for that. Yeah, like I was gonna say, if there's one thing I learned from this entire thing, it's that apparently Zoomers do not use Messenger, which I thought was yeah, <laughs> ubi- kind of ubiquitous. Apparently, that's not. <laughs> All right, you damn kids. So, yeah, one, of, one of the parts one of the parts of the puzzle was to like order the prickly pear stickers and convert them to letters but mm-hmm. the only like image of the stickers was in a different order than on messenger yeah. so. like if, if you pull the, if you pull up the stickers on messenger it shows them in the correct order quote unquote um and we both were like oh yeah of course that's exactly where people will look because where else would you look for a facebook sticker than on facebook and i don't know why i thought people still used messenger like I, I feel like I should. I feel. I feel like I should have known that nobody uses it anymore. I mean, I do too. I do too. Like I do too. But like, Akira, I, don't know. I feel like I, we're we're exceptions. Akira the shark is going to be in a different pack, right? It's in super. Yeah, it's going to be super selection turbo. Uh, whenever I get around to finishing it. Shoutouts to Blowhigh. Yeah. AKA Blahaj. Hi. See, I, I, I prefer, the way I think of it, ever since we had that conversation, was that his species is Blahai, but his name is Blaha. Okay, I, I'll accept that. I respect that. Yeah. I can't debate that's names. How I, that, that's, how I, that's, why I keep, that's why I keep calling him Blaha. You know, that's... <laughs> if anybody was worried about my sanity, don't worry, I have someone to talk to. It's the stuffed shark that lives behind my couch. Do you guys have any final words for the ECFA staff for picking this chart? Why? 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 I hope that it's as in. I, 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 hope, I, that, I, I, hope, I hope that I hope that people, people don't, don't get too mad. Too seriously. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad we're going the same way. All right. This <laughs> is like ECFA is a growth. <laughs> it's like a you know self growth event. Is the community yeah. event. It's. Kyle has said many times that it's not a tournament. There's no yeah. money on the line. It is. It ratings is exceptionally are fake. hard. Well, yeah, ratings are fake. We know that. It is. Well, no, the ECFA ratings are better. We fixed them. Except for, except for Kyle changing all my ratings on Orange Sky, and now it's worth too much. Gosh darn it, Kyle. How dare you make the movement that high? Or whatever it was you changed. I don't even remember. But it is very Honestly, hard. it's not a big deal. No, yeah. it's not. Oh, so that's the ultimatum. Oh, yeah. Um, it's very hard. Don't be hard yeah. on yourself. Don't take. Don't don't get too down on yourself with this or with ECFA, because then you're going to end up like me, where you play the same song for an hour and a half straight, and then you don't touch the game for a month. Same. That's relatable. Really enjoyed that session where I played Keck for an hour and a half. You want to know how many points I got from that? Yeah. And well, now I hate ITG. Thank you guys for being on. This was the Thanks, prickly, it's the prickly pears ultimatum episode of Dance Games Daily. Thank you guys do, for watching. We should do this again sometime. I like talking to my friends. Yeah. Yeah. Let's. Uh. The next time we have Tev on, let's just pick eight measures of something, and I think I can make a two-hour episode out of it. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about this anchor. Let's talk about Panjandrum. You can give song. me like a thousand measures and I can probably talk about it for about four minutes. It's a decent exchange, right? Yeah. Thanks everybody for watching. See ya. Oh, Trevor, I never showed you. Oh God. Are you recording this, Vincent? I sure hope you are. Yes! (laughs)